Hi guys, it's Bella and welcome to Beauty and the Budget and I've got a few finds for you today um, I want to start off with nail polishes now the reason that I needed to get and I need to buy a few more nail polishes um, you will see when you see my empties and I think a few things I'm annoyed with but we won't go there till I do my empties I think it's hard to find a cheaper brand a more you know budget friendly brand of nail polish other than La Femme, who you've heard me talk about many times and I've used many times, they all seem to jam up after a while. I mean, I'm really careful. I wipe the bottle. Um, I always make sure it's sealed. But halfway down, sometimes not even halfway down, they just pull them out and it's just like jam. And that really, really annoys me. It never happens with the, the Femme, which is probably one of the cheapest ones there are. You can use that right down to the last drop in the bottle and it'll spread on your nails. And another one that's really good is the Avon range. Avon's gel polishes are really, really good that you can use them. I've always used mine up to the bottom. Um, I mean, it's, it's not very often you can do that. Even with a lot of the more expensive brands, I'll, I'll show you when I do my empties, but we won't go there now. Um, so what I've got this time is I've got four new polishes from Avon. It's a gel range that I like, because they seem to be the hardest wearing. So it's that one. I've had this one before, and I really like it. So then that is what I've got on now. It's like a natural, nice, because my nails are not too long at the moment. Sometimes they go stronger, sometimes they don't. They're not too great at the moment. I still like to keep them nice, and so I use a very, very natural buff colour. Um, another one I had is this one. And this is a top coat. It's so good guys, their top coat is really, really good. I've used it for ages. This is a slightly tougher one. I've got the other ones, you know, the, the standard ones I do. This one's a slightly tougher one in the black, but it really does. It does keep your nails on. It's an excellent top coat for the price it is. It's really, really good. So I've got that one and then I've got... This one, I should have took these out of the box, guys, shouldn't I? You know what I'm like. Um, this one, this is a, it looks really black. Can you see it? But it's full of, it's really full of different colours. And it sort of shimmers one from the other when it's on your nails, like a, like a Aurora Borealis, you know, when it's on your nails. It's really, really nice. And I like Avon's glitter polishes because they're not those great big chunks. You know when you get a nail polish and it's those great big chunks. When you touch your nails, you can feel the big chunks. And sometimes it chips off. You know, they literally come off because they're such big chunks. It's not like that. With these ones, once you've put your top coat on, it's just as smooth as a gloss. Um, and now I like that one. And then I've got another fairly natural one. I think it's a bit more pearlized though. So it's a similar colour again. No, it's not pearlized. But it's more peachy than the other one. Just peachy. I'm just going for quite natural, she says, with the black nail ones. Um, <laughs> but you can put that on thin, you know. It just gives that glow over the top. But... Um, I'm, I'm liking natural sort of buffy colours at the moment. I seem to be going through that sort of mood. So, um, yeah, I like Avon polishes, guys. I really do it. Some of them, some of the polishes you get, and it really annoys me, especially when you, you know, pay a good few pounds for them, and then you go to use them. And do you know what I mean? All the brushes all glued and don't like that. Now, I've 
sent cards and things from a company called Models Own. I've never tried these before. Um, I had heard of them. I've heard they're quite good. So I thought, well, I'll send for a few bits. So it's Models Own. Um, I, this is the first thing I sent for. This is a liquid lipstick. The packaging is really nice, I've got to say. That is a, like a steel packaging. It looks really brilliant pink, but it's not really that brilliant pink because it's more of a, um, it's just a gloss really. Can't even see, I'm sure. <coughs> okay, so let's try this one on. It's just a gloss, guys. It's not. This gives it a little more of a, a pinky look. It's nice. I like it. Um, I like my favourite looks are very big eyes and quite subdued lips. Um, so I bought a lot of um lip glosses lately and uh, always I've got you know um, Velvet Teddy I wear Max Velvet Teddy all the time I had it on today and now I put this on the top of it um, and then topping things with a lip gloss so if I want a pinker shade I'll put a pinkier lip gloss on um, and I quite like that look because I do like to emphasize my eyes a lot so um, yeah I'm quite pleased with this one I've worn it a couple of times I'm quite pleased with it also you've got to be um, aware, like I am now, that for a little while it mixes the lip plumper as well, so you'll feel it on your lips, as with all lip plumpers, it doesn't hurt, it doesn't hurt, but you can feel that little bit of a tingle, um, as with all lip plumpers really. Then I got an eye pencil, an eyebrow pencil, how rare. I'm going to do a video on eyebrow pencil gloss, guys. It'll probably be about three hours long, the amount I've got. So this one is by, this is not Model Zone, this is by Eyelure. Now, Eyelure are really famous for, well, for years they were famous for their eyelashes. I remember my mum, you know, having Eyelure eyelashes. They've been picked out for years. But this is their brow pencil, and this is one of those all-in-one ones again. So the top one, the top thing is, and this is a lovely colour. It is a lovely, lovely colour. And I like the way, I don't know if you can see it there, it's very subtle. Soft enough, but not um, too soft that it'll give sort of a smudgy looking line, because you don't really want that with your brows. But it's firm enough so that you can get individual strokes I'm liking this. I haven't got it on today, but I will put it out now on my vanity because I haven't had it on my vanity. I wanted to show you. So that's one end. The other end is the spoolie, as usual. And then in between, you undo it and it's got the brow powder. Let's get it undone, guys. So you've got the brow powder in between and that just... It's so subtle. Can you see it just subtly by that line? So you would put the line on and then just fill in the bits. You don't want to use a pencil if you want more of a subtle look. It's ideal for me because my brows at the front here are quite good. But I've got absolutely done at the tail. So that sort of thing's ideal for me because I can just put a tail on. But I'll only need to just sort of fill in a little bit with the powder in the front. So I'm hoping that's going to be a good one. I've tried it a couple of times and I like it so far, but I'll put it out on my vanity from today. And the other thing I got, I much prefer these now, guys, these nail varnish removers. You know the ones, I, can't, I should have opened this, I should have got this to open. no, it's all right. And you put your finger in the sponge, do you know what I mean? And just push it about. I use those all the time. I can't remember the last time I used a bottled nail varnish remover. I much prefer this. They seem to do a much quicker job as well. So I like those. That's the model zone one. I haven't tried that yet, but um, 
I'm sure it's much like the others that I like. I've got a couple of eyeshadow palettes now. They're small palettes. But these were the things that I saw um, other people talking about and they sounded nice. So it's a small palette, it comes in a little box like that. And it's quite an attractive little palette, like that. Put it the right way up, like that. Okay, so these little palettes, this is the gold and white one. And I really like it because the gold is not, it's, not a really in your face sort of bright brassy can you see there guys cool test can do it's there but it's a nice gold you know and it it's not one that goes in my lines or anything like that it's nice for our age group and then the white is so it's not chalky it's just really nice for this area here can you see, guys? It's really nice. You can barely see it, but it stays, and it just gives that nice under the brow. I mean, when I was young, I used to, you, you know, put the pearlized up there so that that bit of my brow would glow, and I'm sure we all did, a lot of us. Um, but I can't get away with that now. But I'm pleased with that. I like that eyeshadow. I haven't done enough looks with anything yet. But I do like it. Okay, the other thing I wanted to try was their matte shadows. Because I always find shimmers can be quite pigmented. I think a, it's harder to find a good matte that's going to last and be pigmented. I find matte's harder. Um, this one is a lovely purpley colour, but again, it's a muted purple. It's not kind of a cheap, brilliant purple, and it really is pigmented. I mean, like mega, mega pigmented. And I really like that. I haven't done a look with it yet, but I will do a look with it, and I'm really pleased with that. Um, I like this shimmers a lot, and I like the shimmer for under my brow. I particularly like that, and I like the gold. If I was going somewhere special just to put a little bit in the middle there, that's nice. But I, do, I don't really need, because I bought two of those, that particular one I bought two of. I don't really need any more of those, but I will get more of these colours, because I really like this, this purple one. I'm going to get some more colours in that, because I like it. Next thing I got from Models Own is a brow mascara, which I like. It looks quite dark brown, but it isn't. And it's it's a tiny little brush, and it's not dark at all. It's just feathery. Can you see, guys? It's just feathery. See, it's quite fair when you see it close up. Obviously, I won't put it that thick in between my brows. But I like that one. I haven't used it as yet. I'm quite pleased with the colour. Okay, the next thing I wanted to try was a lip liner. I just sort of wanted to test because I'd, I'd seen a few things about this model zone. And I thought, well, I'll get a few things in various departments, you know. Apart from foundation, I never chance foundation or mascara. So I, I try to stick to the ones I know. Um, but everything else, I'll give it a try, you know. If it looks the kind of shades I like and everything. So this is their lip liner. This is a red one. It's a retractable. And I like this one because it is nice and soft. And it's a nice red. Can you see guys? A pinky red. It's not pillar box or too much for every day. That's a nice lip liner. And if you put that all over the lips, nice and, you know, thinly, and then a lip gloss over the top, that would be lovely. That's just my type of thing. So I'm very pleased with the lip liners. Again, I don't know the longevity yet, but I like the, the application. I hate lip liners, you know, the pencils when they're hard and they really tug at your mouth. The next thing I've got, I think this is Model Zone. Yes, I wanted to try a couple of their cream shadows because I haven't got a lot of cream shadows. I had um, 
a couple of the Maybelline tattoos, but they just didn't last. I they I put the tops on tight again, but they really didn't last. They went solid so quickly um, that I, I wouldn't go back to them. The MAC ones, I've only ever used the um, Painterly one, um, which lasted, and I liked that, and that lasted right down to the bottom. But um, I just wanted to try another. I thought I'd try these. So I've got one in the gold colour and also like a slate grey. So let's get a little brush and see what we think of these. So this is the goldy one. They turned out very thin, which I like. It's not pasty at all. So can you see that? That's nice, isn't it, guys? Can you see that? I'm liking that. Look at that. I only put it on my lid, just on my lid, because that one's a metallic -y one. But the other one is a matte one, and it's steel. Let me just wipe this brush off. And see what this one is. It's like a steel. I would call it a steel. Let's see how this is. I'll practice some looks, and if I like them, guys, I'll show. It. Yeah, it's really dense. So it's a lovely colour. And it smudges out nicely. Smudges out, so we'll try that. It's like a steel. I would call that steel. I haven't done any looks with these yet, but I will try and see, see what I think. And see what you think. Now, the last thing I got um, this time is something I've been after for ages and ages. You know when you've got one of those things, I've got loads, on your must-buy list, um, and it seems to go on and you buy something else, but it seems to stay on the list forever? Well, this has stayed on my list forever, and I am so glad that I finally bought it. And it's a Milani blush, and it's a rose blush, and this one is... Romantic Rose. I, I love it. I love this. That is such a gorgeous shade of blush. I don't think the camera's doing it any justice. It's a beautiful shade and a be I haven't got it on now. I've got um I've got Milani one and I've got Luminoso on at the moment. But I think that is gorgeous. I really like Milani's blushes. I really do. I'm so pleased I got this and that's another thing that now I've got it and I've tried it I want to I want a couple more now in the other shades but I am really 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 pleased with that so that's it guys that's my little collection for this time I didn't get too much now I was hoping I was hoping I could get out within the next couple of weeks we didn't now you know walking about and things like that but to go into stores and things like that I haven't done that yet um but We've got news now, we're waiting for more news to come today. But we've got news now that our area is in a um, kind of a in lockdown because it's quite high where I live, in the part of England I live, the, the virus has risen quite a lot. It went down everywhere, like it, it's the same all over the world, I'm sure. Um, it went down, but then once, you know, it, it was re released and some of the restrictions were released, um, people are out and you know and not everyone it sort of abides by the rules really and um, it's it's definitely on the up and up it's, it's frightening on the up and up so I won't be going anywhere I couldn't go anywhere anyway because um, we're not allowed in that each other's houses or anything at the moment um, so that's restricted again, so I'll be just carrying on buying online, but I'm doing all right, I'm doing all right. Um, last time, you remember, guys, when we were, the world was on lockdown, um, and I was staying at a friend's flat down south, yeah, I'm sure you remember, guys, I was coming on every day, boring you all. <laughs> but um, this time I'm at home. Thank goodness I'm at home with my bears. But it, I, it's not as bad at the moment. It's not what you call, that was a national lockdown. We haven't got a national lockdown at the moment. It's all just places here and there. But uh, I think we will have a national lockdown. I think, 
if we're not careful, it's going to go that way. It's going to go that way. Um, and the economy, and it's just frightening. It's frightening to think of it. It's frightening to think of it. But, um, you know, there's God, they get a hold of it soon. So you take care of yourself. Be careful wherever you are. I will see you again on Friday. And I love you all.